Hey, what's up everybody? Chris McCarthy, HiJRT.com, and this is your workout of the day. So today's workout has a rep sequence of 15, 12, and 9, and it's actually broken up into three different rounds. Each round, we're going to be doing a different strength exercise. Now, each round, we're going to be doing different reps of 15, 12, and 9 of that exercise, and it starts with the jump rope. So, for example, here in round number one, we're going to begin the round with 25 double unders or 50 single jumps. Once those are complete, you're going to move over here to round one, and we're going to do 15 incline bench press. Once those are over, we are then going to do another set of those 25 double unders or those 50 singles. Back down here again to the incline bench press, we're just going to do 12 reps this time. Once those 12 are over, back up to the top here to do another set of those 25 double unders or those 50 single jumps. And then we're going to finish out the round with nine of these incline bench press. Once you've completed those nine, you're going to move on to round number two. Just like round number one, it's going to start off with those 25 double unders or those 50 singles, but then now we're going to end up doing supination curls. So you're going to do the same sequence through round number two, then the same sequence through round number three, and then the workout is complete. So that is the workout. Let's go over all the moves. All right guys, so today's workout of the day begins with the jump rope. You're gonna do either 25 double unders or 50 single jumps. Double unders is when the rope is passing underneath your feet twice for every jump. So you see now when I leave the ground, the rope is passing underneath my feet twice every time I jump. Now if you choose not to do the double unders, you can just do single jumps, uh, just do twice as many, so you'll do 50 of the single jumps. And that's just your basic jump with the rope passing underneath your feet once every time you jump. So it begins with that. Once you've completed those 25 double unders or those 50 single jumps, you're going to move on to the first exercise here in round one, which happens to be incline bench press. So you're going to set your ropes down and you're going to grab a set of dumbbells. And you have a bench set up at an incline. Go ahead and get on that bench. What we're going to do is we're going to lean all the way back. We're going to bring these dumbbells down to the sides of our chest and we're going to press them up overhead. So you're going to lean all the way back, bring those dumbbells down to your sides of your chest. You're going to press them up, squeeze your chest to the top, slowly bring them back down all the way to the sides of your chest. Pause for a second and then press them back up. Once again, squeeze your chest to the top, bring them all the way down. So we're going to end up doing in the first round of these, the first set is 15 of these incline dumbbell bench press. Once you've completed these 15, you're then going to set these dumbbells down and then you're going to go back over to the jump rope one more time here and you're going to do another set of those 25 double unders or those 50 single jumps. Once you're done with those, then you're going to hit up these incline dumbbell bench press again, but this time you're just going to do 12 reps. Once those 12 are over, jump rope again for 25 double unders or 50 singles and then you're going to finish off round number one with the nine incline dumbbell bench press. Once those are complete, now you're going to move on to round number two. Round number two starts the same way as round number one with those 25 double unders or those 50 singles, but now we're going to move on to dumbbell supination curls. So you're going to want to grab a, another set of dumbbells here. And what we're going to do, stand with your feet just about shoulder width, hip width apart, slight bend in your knees, have these dumbbells hanging down by your sides, palms facing in. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start to curl them up towards our chest, but as we curl them up, we're then gonna rotate our hands, so we're gonna end up with our hands facing towards our chest. So it looks like this, you're gonna curl all the way up. Now my hands are facing my chest. You're gonna pause for a second here, squeeze those biceps, and then bring them back down and rotate them back down so now your palms are facing in towards your hips again. Make sure you're going full hang on these arms, and then also when you're curling them up, make sure that your elbows are still pointing down, chest up, shoulders back, so in the first round of these, in round number two, or the first set, you're going to end up doing 15 of these dumbbell supination curls. All the way up, all the way down. Make sure you're rotating full through the movement. You're not rotating just at the bottom, but all the way up, you're rotating through the full movement of that upward motion of those arms and bring them back down. So just like round number one, round number two, we're going to do 15 of these for the first set, then back over the jump rope, then we're gonna do 12 of the dumbbell supination curls, back to the jump rope again, and then we're gonna finish round number two with nine of those. Then we're moving on to round number three. Now round number three, 25 double unders or 50 single jumps on that jump rope again, and now we're gonna end up doing bent over reverse flies. So grab a set of lighter dumbbells, and what we're gonna do is, once again, with your feet, just about shoulder width, hip width apart, slight bend in your knees. We're gonna send your butt back, keeping a nice flat back, hang those dumbbells down in front of your full hang. 
Make sure your head and neck are in a neutral spine, looking down at the floor, keeping a nice flat back, bent over. And what we're going to do is we're going to slightly bend our elbows and we're going to butterfly or fly those arms backwards, really squeezing your mid back, pausing at the top, and then slowly bringing them back down to full hang, all the way back, and then bring them back down, making sure that head and neck are in a neutral spine, keeping a flat back, slight bend in those knees, and we're going to end up doing 15 of these for the first round. And just like the other rounds, once you've completed 15 of these, you're going to go back over that jump rope again and do those 25 double lunges or those 50 single jumps. Then we're going to do 12 of those bent over reverse flies, back to the jump rope, and then we're going to finish out the entire workout and round number three really strong with nine more of those bent over reverse flies. So once you've completed those, the workout is over. So that is the workout of the day. Hope you enjoyed this workout. If you did, please give me a thumbs up here on YouTube. Also check out HiJRT.com for even more full workouts and trainer tips. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you in the next workout.